Welcome to Living in Charlottesville. I'm Pam Worley, and I've grown up in this area, and I'm here to tell you today about the pros and cons of living in the Charlottesville area. Hey, it's Pam with Living in Charlottesville. If you're new to this station, then I would encourage you, if you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, playing, working, living in Charlottesville, then you hit the subscribe button and you hit the bell so you're notified every time a new video drops. I hear from folks all the time, emails, texts, calls, wanting to know about moving and relocating to the area. If you're thinking about moving and relocating to the area, give me a call, shoot me a text, drop me an email. I am available Monday through Sunday, morning, noon, and night. I've got you when you're moving to the area and living in Charlottesville. I've compiled a list of pros and cons about moving here that you're gonna wanna know before living here. And we're gonna get to it right now. Pro number one, Southern weather. We get all four seasons here. Sometimes we can get to the extremes of the seasons, but nothing insane. Enjoying that Southern weather. What does it mean? Mild winters, beautiful, fabulous weather to enjoy outdoors, most like 10 months out of the year. During the summer, what temperatures can be 80s, 90s, with the feels like of into the hundreds, more time to enjoy camping, hiking, wine, drinking, you know, going to the vineyards. All of that's available 10 months out of the year. So con number one, tourism. It produces a lot of jobs, but it's like three and a half million people come here and the town is only about 47,000. So that can really upset a lot of people. Most of the time it's pushed off to places like the Monticello, the University of Virginia, or the leaf peeping season. But in general, yeah, it's a con. Pro number two, a vibrant arts and cultural scene. We've got something for pretty much everybody, but if whether you like music, whether you like the Festival of the Book, the Virginia Film Festival, they're all here. So we've got you covered. Several theaters, different performers, everything from amateur to during the summer at the University of Virginia. We've got you. Con number two, there's no primary airport. The closest primary airport is going to be 75 miles away at Richmond International. But I will say, Charlottesville, CHO, CHO Airport. Once you go CHO, you don't go back. Pro number three is beautiful scenery and outdoor activities. We have outstanding golf, award-winning courses. We have great places for hiking, biking, kayaking, paddle boarding. We have several rivers. We got it all. So it's really nice that it's all in our smaller area but with those kind of environments. And the farther out you go, the more opportunity. We even have some skiing opportunities in a couple of areas that are outlying from us. Con number three, high cost of living and state income taxes. Yes, I'm afraid so. Our average cost of living is higher and we do as a state collect income taxes. So yeah, that's one of the cons. Pro number four, a variety of high paying job opportunities. Everything from Department of Defense to the University of Virginia to technology and, and health care even. If whatever your expertise is, I am sure there's a nice opportunity for you around this area. So con Number four, if the big names, Cracker Barrel, Olive Garden, Red Lobster are your go-to and must-haves, we don't have any of them. You'll have to enjoy those on vacation when you go elsewhere. 
but we do have outstanding food. Pro number five, friendly and welcoming community. Someone who's grown up here has gone away and come back. I feel this one to my core. Definitely a great variety of folks and overall just friendly and welcoming community. So con number five, personal property taxes. We actually do have personal property taxes on our autos, motorcycles, RVs, boats, anything that we own, you, you're, you're going to pay taxes on it when you buy it. And then you're going to pay personal property taxes twice a year in June, traditionally, and in December. Sorry, one of those things. So that's it. We got a lot going on. We're really diverse. All I got to know for you is what you like, what you don't like. Where's your office? Are you going to have an office or are you going to work from home? What do you like to do? Do you like to take an Uber into town and take in an event, a sporting event? Or do you want to be close to outstanding golf? All of those things. Just give me a ring. Shoot me an email. Shoot me a text. Let me know. Connect with me. We'll talk about living in Charlottesville.